All right, it's that time. The Agris T50s are shipping from China this week. We will likely have them here end of next week, maybe early the week after. So for June, we can certainly outfit you with an Agris T50 for spraying, for spreading, everything that you want to use it for. The biggest thing is the Agris really is, it builds on the success of all the Agrises that have come before. If you've been to some of our classes, you've flown Agris T10s, T20, T30 is usually there. And for the last year, it's been the T40. And the T50 really is at a slightly better price. It's actually a lower price than what we had last year for better radar especially, but we'll get into all the differences in a second. The biggest benefit of the Agris line generally is its ease of use. The interface on these controllers, I mean, the RC Plus itself, we'll talk about the hardware, but the biggest benefit is the software on there is just so easy to use. If you've flown a Mavic, you can figure out how to fly an Agris T50. There's more regulatory requirements. We're gonna to have to make sure you get your advanced certification and an SFOC, but ultimately the software is as easy to use as you would expect from any DJI product. The other benefit is that you can actually do 40 or 50 acres. If you're spraying a two gallon an acre, it's entirely feasible to get that in a good hour. There will certainly be hours when you don't get that kind of productivity. If you're fortunate enough to have hills and beautiful scenery from trees around your farm, 25 acres in an hour may be your productivity but it's definitely not impossible to get 50 acres in a wide open quarter section with no trees. So the technology is there to do large acreage spraying. Of course, big disclaimer, no pesticide application yet. PMRA hasn't approved any of that, but you can certainly apply fertilizers, biostimulants, plant growth regulators, anything that's not controlled by the Pest Control Products Act. What we'll do is we'll take you through some of the main features of the T50. Since you have probably already watched a bunch of T40 videos over the last year and you're thinking, is this the year that I switch? We'll focus on the things that have changed because one thing that hasn't changed, frankly, is the overall capacity. It's called a T50, but it doesn't have a 50 liter tank. It's a 40 liter tank. We're gonna get very similar capacity, but the flow rate is higher on the pumps and the speed is higher. So with a higher flow rate and higher speed, you can actually get more acres done in an hour with a T50 than you can with the T40 without an increase in tank size. The capacity on the T50 is it's gonna do up to 16 liters per minute with the two impeller nozzles. If you get the add-on system, which adds another set of impellers on the front, you can do up to 24 liters per minute. So much higher capacity than the previous version. And that's gonna be useful, not just for getting more acres done if you're doing two gallon an acre of water, but also useful for you if you need more water volume. And the reality is for a lot of product, it still pays to put on more water. When we're applying by air, we're always limited by water volumes, but there are some products that will certainly do better at three gallon an acre or five gallon an acre. That is one of the bigger differences. The other main change is the omnidirectional radar has been improved. So the, there's a big radar puck on the front now that has that's larger, more capable than the previous version. And they've also mounted one of those laterally on the back legs. And those are gonna improve the ability to follow terrain, the ability to see obstacles. One thing that we saw with previous models is at the start of an automated mission, often when the drone was coming down, if there was a few little shrubs, and we all have poplars that are four or six feet tall, if you're flying at low altitude for that spray, you may end up shredding a prop or two. The big benefit of the Agris line generally, or at least the newer generation, is that they have eight propellers. So when you shred a prop, it's not the end of the world. The drone does not generally come crashing down. You can still land it safely and replace a propeller. But that shredding of propellers will be prevented largely by having that radar on the bottom of the drone. Having a big radar in the front was great for obstacle detection, but now we're also adding that for terrain awareness and for reducing the amount of shredded props when you're lowering down onto shrubs. The other thing that the radar does is that it will allow us to increase the travel speed. So previously on the T40 model, the maximum speed was 32 km an hour when you were in wide open country with obstacle bypassing turned off. As soon as you turned on obstacle bypass mode, it was down to 25.6 km an hour. With the new model, with the T50, you can fly 36 km an hour wide open and the 32 km an hour is with obstacle bypass mode on. So for those of you that are working in with high hills, with trees, or along headlands, we can now fly those at 32 kilometers an hour as well. That makes a big difference in terms of just being able to even out the travel speed for the entire mission. One issue we've seen is the obstacle bypass works so well that most of us are using that on our headlands, but most of the interior of the field would be sprayed at 32 kilometers an hour and the exterior at 25.6 or even slower if you've got a lot of trees there and, and obstacle bypass mode kicks on. 
So this will really help with uniformity across that field and getting the even deposition. So the other change is they have added some solenoids now to the atomizers. And that will mean that you'll have instantaneous on and offs. There was some dribbling occasionally on the T40s. It's really not a big issue for anything that we saw being done last year, but obviously DJI listened to some users' feedback that had some issues with dribbling and they've added those solenoids for an auto on and off. They've also changed some of the overall design. And again, it appears to have been based on user feedback because these are the things we've heard from our customers and things we've seen ourselves. So there's improved wear protection. They've changed some of the hinge and arm designs. So hopefully that'll reduce and prevent some wear. They've also changed some of the design to make repair easier. One thing that's that may not be noticeable to most people, but it will have a huge impact on a specific kind of repair is the antennas used to be mounted underneath the front motors. They've now moved those to the center of the body so that those motors can be repaired much more simply. Because the antenna was there, we had to route those cables all the way through the mainframe to the back of the drone for the T40 repairs. With the T50 repair, those two front bottom motors will be much simpler to repair. And there's similar things, the conduits being changed on, on some of the joints and those kinds of things as well. One significant change that I forgot to mention, and this will matter to you, is the price is lower. It's several thousand dollars lower for a standard package for the Agris T50 over the T40, and that's with nothing but improvements since the last version. There is nothing earth shattering except maybe the radar. The radar is a significant change, but the price is still lower than it was previously. So we will have those here in Edmonton probably end of next week. By early June, we can get you set up to get flying. And what we do here at Landview is we provide you with training before you fly. So many of you have already attended our drone spraying clinics this last winter. We'll have more of those this summer and many of them next winter. Those are two days where we focus on good deposition. So that always comes with the drones. Then on top of that, we give you an on-farm orientation. When the T-50s arrive, we'll spend at least a half a day with you making sure that your equipment is all working well for you and you know how to get good deposition out of it. It is challenging to set your spray width. In addition to just spending that time with you on the farm, we'll give you some database information. Our summer staff now are busy spraying, recording that deposition, and you'll be able to use that database to figure out your spray width. When your volume changes from two to three gallon an acre, or if you wanna change your droplet size to something coarser, you'll be able to look up from our data whether that's going to increase your spray width or not. So it'll give you a good starting point. It's still important that you learn how to calibrate that equipment yourself and we'll equip you with the knowledge to do that through the drone spraying clinic as well. And that's always included in all of our spraying drone packages. We'd be happy to serve you with some of that. The last thing we do is we have a 36 hour get flying guarantee. If you do have a crash, and unfortunately that does happen in the first year, especially for a lot of new drone users, we will have one of our staff out at your farm to get that thing repaired or provide you with a loaner within 36 hours. That first visit is entirely free as well. After that, we'll have a nominal rate to cover the cost of the staff coming out, and then you'll just pay the parts. So we'll have the T50 here in two or three weeks. Give us a call if you're interested in placing an order. So I should